Leading when you are in charge. Leading when you are not in charge is a delicate balance of influence and diplomacy. It requires a robust toolkit and thoughtful patience. With a combination of the listed below, you will help your team embrace a more rigorous and data-driven approach to running the business. Be values-driven and be obvious about it. It's really hard to argue with someone who is driven by a just and clearly communicated set of values. If you help your colleagues see that your interest in exercising leadership is driven by values, and not by self-interest, it is very hard to say no, unless of course they have conflicting values. In which case, you might want to seek other would-be followers. Communicate the big, and little, picture. Often, the right thing to do, which is most often the hard thing to do, seems isolated from a larger context. Sometimes everyone is so focused on the macro level, they can't see their ability to make a difference at the micro level right in front of them. Your ability to lead without authority will grow in proportion to your ability to communicate how small actions here and now have larger results over there sometime later. In return, you will continue to enjoy a market leading role in your space while many of your peers have plateaued or lost market share. You will begin to master leading without authority to the benefit of the entire firm.